Hi, my name is Tim. I'm Senior Application Specialist at ATR Soft. In today's webinar, we will have a look at a new feature for 2019 SP1, the ability to export configurations to Excel or other text formats. I am not entirely sure, but I should have my wingman, Francois Simon, uh, to answer your questions, but I'm not entirely sure if he is here or not. Maybe he will show up later. But anyway, you can use the chat box in the GoToWebinar panel. I'm going to make room after the session for more questions so that you follow the presentation better. I expect the webinar to be somewhere in the range of 10 minutes. It's very short today. And as always, we are recording and making it available online later on. Okay, let's get started. The export was, as you might know already, sent to the gym to get a bit more meat on the bones. The result will today be shared with you all but we now officially support the export of configurations to a large variety of file formats. And this is great because I can in this webinar pretty much reuse the PowerPoint from our previous one, and it's totally in our DNA to focus on time savings. With no further delay, let's get it on. Many of you have been on a SolidWorks training, uh, so you probably realize this file, uh, recognize it. Um, we have some different configurations in this one, and our goal is to export these different configurations to Excel so we have a, a full parts list for each configuration. Now, I'm not going to focus on the entire drill assembly, so I'm just going to open up this smaller assembly. To use the, this new export method, uh, there is one thing you need to know. It's a small change you need to do in, in the custom tools options. So I'm going to go into the options and show you what that is. By default, we are not activating this on, uh, on your export profile, but you can do it very easily. So you just go into the export profile and then edit or add a new one, uh, export profile. And then you have the option to export all configurations the active configuration or all top level configurations. And by default, we are setting this as active and re reference configuration. So we are not going to make any changes to what you have right now. But you have the option to pick one of these two as well. Apart from this, everything else is very much the same as always. You have the top level only, parts only, and then the indented assemblies. And from the previous webinar, uh, you will have an explanation of these ones, uh, but where we can export weldment structures as well. Um, nothing else is new, I think, in here. So you can just play with this one and see what you get. But from this one, we can run an export. And before I do so, I want to show you that we have these different configurations. So one, two, three, four, five, six different configs. When I run the export, it is going to pass this file through uh, all of these configurations, and we are going to build the list. And you can already see in the structure view that we have the configurations that we are expecting to have in this one. And then in the background, we are actually setting these active to read in the bill of material for each of these configurations. And we have done so at this point. So you can see the first configuration contains these parts. And the next one contains these parts. And I'm not sure what's going on with the graphics. But you can see that these uh, lists are different. And if I click on the preview, you can see that this one is the blue. Luckily, it's the blue one we have in the preview. And the yellow is the yellow. And we read in the config name. So everything is, is read into our export. And when we run the export, it is going to create the actual file itself. In this case, I'm going to run one single Excel file with all of these different sheets in it. Um, you have the option as well to run an export to individual Excel files. But for some reason, that fails on my computer right now. Um, I'm not sure what is wrong with that, but it has been working just the other day. Um, this is, uh, I think, the demo effect. But I would just show you this uh, Excel report where we convert everything into one single Excel file. 
apart from Excel files, you can convert these uh, into CSV or TXT, or you can even export directly to your ERP system or any other external database. But it's going to create uh, these different sheets and it's going to put those in, in one file. So at some point, shortly, we will have the Excel file open. Now ah, it opens on a different screen. And it's going to look like this. So you can see the sheets have been created. So we have shelf, burners, right, left, red, blue, yellow. And if I look at these different previews, you can see that the preview images are matching what we are expecting. And this is probably one of those cases where you are going to find it's not the right image that you get. And we can actually drive this from SolidWorks. So I'm just going to close all of these ones. In SolidWorks, we have the option to, on your configuration, right click and then add the display data mark. So now I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to re-edit. So add display data mark. And then when you are going to save this file, I can do that. You will see that it's going to run through all of the configurations and then save the display data onto the file. So we have these preview images coming from the files directly. Now, when I am working on SolidWorks uh, and I don't have a whole lot more than this to show, I want to share one more tip. Now, when you open up SolidWorks, you might have noticed that this dialog comes up where you can open a new document, not this one, but you can actually call that again just by double clicking. And I just wanted to share that because I found that uh, tremendously amusing because I discovered that by mistake. So if you are using this uh, to open up your files, you can just double click in, in a blank space and this will open up in here. But anyway, that was a, a side note. And honestly, that is all that I had to show for you today. I just wanted to make you aware that we are adding all of these uh, new things. And if we are not running these webinars and showing them, those to you, then you might never even realize that we put them in. So now you know, uh, and I hope that you are going to utilize it and find it useful in some way or form. Our next webinar will be about bringing consistency to your design process. Uh, this is more like a conceptual webinar, more than it is a practical webinar, but we really want to show the different tools that we have to make your everyday work more uniform. Uh, this is, for instance, using the correct properties, naming your files per company standard, saving them to the right place, and convert converting files the right way, and so on. Uh, this webinar is going to take place on 9th of May, same time as today. We are open for questions when the recording is stopped, but first I want to thank you for attending this webinar, and I hope to see all of you for the next one. Thank you, and have a nice day. We are in the life-saving business. We kill your routines before they kill you.